Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and we are continuing our month of sweatshirt hacks with this um, cowl neck instead of putting a hoodie on the sweatshirt. So this can be done with any shirt. Right here, I've done it on my free sweatshirt pattern. Here, I'm wearing my Blanc t-shirt, which also happens to be a free pattern, although this one comes in multiple sizes, and I've just hacked the neckline to have this cowl instead. I'm also using the sleeves from the paid hack pack that you can get with this pattern. But again, you can do this on any shirt and I'm going to show you how to do both the plain and the drawstring cowls. Let's talk about the supplies needed to add a cowl to your shirt. Now, if you're just doing a plain cowl like the one I'm wearing, all you need is extra fabric of your same fabric as your project or contrast if you want a contrasting cowl. If, however, you would like to do the drawstring cowl, you are going to need eyelets. I like the ones with um, the kit, and then once you have the kit, you can continue to buy the same size eyelets and not have to get the kind with the kit. But you do need two eyelets, and you're going to need drawstring, and then a mallet or a hammer to install the eyelets. And that's it. So the first step to add a cowl to a shirt is to figure out how big your neckline is. Now you can do this by looking at your pattern or you can just wait because necklines are usually one of the last things that you do on a garment and once you've got the garment sewn together you can measure it. I do want to stress though that you don't measure on the raw edge of the neckline. You want to measure on the seam allowance of the neckline. So for example, here I have a half inch seam allowance and I'm going to measure along that seam allowance on my neckline. If you are measuring on your pattern, you need to make sure that you subtract any shoulder seam allowances or other things that won't be part of the finished neckline. So for my cowl piece here on this neckline, this is a 21 and a half inch neckline. And I want the cowl to be loose. I don't want it to be like a neck band where you would do like 90 to 80% of a neckline so that it gets pulled in. You want the cowl to be loose. So I've gone ahead and I've just added a seam allowance to the total neckline length. So my cowl here is 22 and a half inches um, wide. So here we go, like this. And then I like to double the total width that I want. So this is a, um, I want it to be six inches. That's what I'm wearing currently. I want it to be six inches and then you add a half inch seam allowance to each end after you double it. So this is 13 inches by 22 and a half inches. Now, if you are doing just a plain cowl like the one that I am wearing, this is all you need to do. For the sweatshirt one though, we're going to go ahead and add grommets. So we need to do a couple more steps. First, I want to fold this wrong sides together so that I can figure out where I'm going to be sewing my channel here. And I'm going to make a drawstring channel that's going to be um, three quarters of an inch down from that folded edge. So I've got that um, laid out with my ruler. And then what I also want to figure out is where is the center of that. So ruler's not quite long enough. I'm going to go um, 22 and a half inches and I'm going to find that center which would be 11 and a quarter. Now, if you don't want to do the math on that, then the real easy way to find a center is just to fold your measuring tape in half and then you can see that I've got 11 and a quarter is where my midpoint is on this. So, I'm going to use my ruler here just because I prefer it lays a little flatter and better. So I've got 11 and a quarter and three quarter inches in this channel here. And so here is the exact center of my cowl top here. And then I'm just going to want to install an eyelet to either side of that. I'm going to do two eyelets. The original hoodie video shows how to put in eyelets and again I've got that linked below and I've got it linked at the end of this video. So go ahead and check that out to see how to do this and then I'll show you how to finish up this cowl and attach it. 
Once you have installed your eyelets, then you want to go ahead and fold your cowl right sides together, matching up that short edges, and then you want to stitch down the short edge. When the edge is stitched, then you can go ahead and fold the whole cowl wrong sides together, match up those seams, and match up the raw edges. Okay, the side with the grommets on it, that is your outside of your cowl. So before I attach this to the sweatshirt, I want to go ahead and sew the drawstring channel on here. So I'm just going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'm going to be stitching right along there. If it is helpful, you can also go make yourself a line um, and just put it on with washable marker or whatever marking tool you prefer and then stitch right on that line. You are going to be stitching through both layers. To stitch this, I am using a stretch stitch. You could also use a zigzag stitch or any stitch that stretches. Um, and I'm doing that because this is stretch fleece and the cowl may stretch slightly and I don't want popped stitches if that happens. Be careful when you get to this eyelet area. You may want to hand crank, but just mostly make sure the needle doesn't hit the eyelets. Once you have the channel stitched around the top of your cowl, then you can go ahead and put in a drawstring. For mine, I'm just using twill tape, so I want to make sure that it is enough to go around, plus some extra. You can always cut this shorter later. To thread this, I'm going to use a safety pin. Normally, I would like to use my bodkin, but it won't fit through these eyelet holes. So I'm going to take the safety pin through and just use it to take the drawstring all around the casing. I don't like personally to have a whole lot of drawstring hanging out, so I'm actually going to cut mine about here. And I do like these ends to be knotted to help with the fraying of the twill tape. One final thing to make sure that your drawstring doesn't pull all the way through, it's a good idea to go at center back and just sew a little line of stitching. You can use straight stitches right in that ditch of the seam and that will make sure that this can't pull all the way through or out. Now all we have to do is attach this to the neck. Let's get our sweatshirt back out. And the main thing is to make sure that the correct side of the cowl is on the outside. So it can help to fold the cowl and find the center front and mark it. And I just like to do that with a pin. And then find the center front of your shirt and mark that as well. And then we can match those points up. And I'm making sure that this is right sides together. So those eyelets right side to the right side of the shirt. And then the seam is going to match with the center back. Okay, once I've got those two points matched, I can kind of pull the neckline and match in between. All right, here is my neckline. I've got three layers. I've got the neck of the shirt and then two layers of cowl, and I'm going to sew all the way around that. Here is the neckline sewn. I used a serger. You do want to use some kind of stretch stitch. If you don't have a serger, it can be a zigzag or it can be the lightning bolt stretch stitch if your machine has that, whatever you prefer. And then turn this right side out. And here is a drawstring cowl variation. Now, remember this month I'm doing all kinds of variations to a simple sweatshirt pattern. So check out the playlist that I've linked here to see all of those. And any links for supplies, etc., those are below.